Hey everybody, I'm uh, just getting back from the big weekend in Miami, American Open Series 2. It is about 5 o'clock now, Denver time. I'm uh, going to coach the wad here in half an hour. But uh, woke up at 2 a.m. Colorado time, so 4 a.m. So I've been at it for a while. I didn't get much sleep after, after the sessions yesterday. Uh, but I wanted to do the recap video while it's still fresh in my head. So, um, Miami, here goes. Uh, the meet was actually held on an Indian reservation at an Indian casino about 40 minutes uh, west of Miami. Um, so I think it's technically in the county, though it was on its own reservation, literally. So it was very interesting. The Pan American Championships was held um, Monday through Thursday the week before this and American Open Series 2 started on Friday. So it was a little bit crazy. Um, the training hall, always in national meets and international meets, you have the meet platform, the warm-up room, which is generally right behind the meet platform, and then a training hall. And so the training hall is for athletes that are just coming in from out of town, uh, getting in training sessions, that kind of stuff. Things not necessarily related to the actual competition. Um, the warm-up room is used for the warm-up for the direct competition. Anyway, at this casino, the training hall was set up in a tent in the parking lot adjacent to the other tent where the meat venue actually was. And it was unbelievable Miami rain storming on Monday, and it flooded all of the the meat platforms, or sorry, the training hall platforms. It also flooded the AC. So the Pan Am coaches were talking about how having to walk through like four inches of water just to get to the training hall. And then all the platforms were warped and their athletes are lifting in water and warped platforms. Anyway, by the time they got to Thursday, they had to shut down the uh, training hall entirely and they moved the training hall to um, the host facility which was actually about 40 minutes away from the meat venue so that was a difficult um, thing to have to deal with um, so if athletes are coming in from out of town they are having to travel 40 minutes to get the training session in like let's say your meets on sunday you don't have access to the warm-up room until Sunday. So if you come in on Wednesday or Thursday, you got to have somewhere to train before then. So they're having to travel 40 minutes away. So it was kind of a debacle, but um, it was CrossFit Seoul or Team Seoul Miami that hosted it, and they did a great job under the circumstances. So kind of a mess, but they did they did really good. Um, so actual meet conditions, you're, you're coming down the elevator from your room, walking through enough smoke to give you cancer, and then getting warmed up for for the meat so it was exactly what you think an indian casino should be like and it was uh, a sight to say the least um jake was over on body weight and he had some kind of miserable cutting to do before the meat and he included buffet eating in that which made it even harder um katie was a little over i was a little over but it wasn't such a big deal it was just uh little normal um, cutting off carbs at the end of the night and sauna stuff, and we were on weight, no problem. Um, Roseanne did a good job as well. She she didn't have to do anything too, too extreme. She she was did a good job of taking care of her body weight. Um, Cuban food was awesome, and that was consumed for us mostly after the meat happened. But, um, okay, actual meat stuff. Roseanne came out. Hit her first two snatches, missed her third, had a rough day in the clean and jerk, um, took third in her age group. So still still not bad, not her best day, and she's not happy about it, but we are going to build on it, and we have tons of things to do for her in training um, to avoid that stuff in the future. Katie's got a, had a rough month of training leading up to this, but lifted amazing in spite of it, as you guys would all expect Katie to do. Um, she went four for six. It was her first time at a meet of this size, um, so she did very well. She ended up, let's see, 
She ended up 19th out of a shit ton of 69 kilo lifters, so that was very good. Um, Merrill came out. It was her her first kind of big meet like this. She's only done local meets up to this point. She hit all of her snatches, her third snatch. It was a meet PR, which is, for those of you guys that don't know, sometimes you don't always hit PRs at meets until you are really comfortable doing meets. Um, but for the first couple of years of weightlifting, your, your meet PRs are generally actually a little bit lower than your gym PRs in most cases, not all. So Merrill hits a meet PR on the snatch, comes out for the clean and jerk. She's just on fire, hit, crushes her opener, hits a lifetime PR and meet PR on her second attempt. We went up a little bit for the third, and then the clean took a lot out of her, so she missed the jerk. No big deal. Um, Jake uh, and I, actually, we both, we missed both of our openers, which scared the shit out of each other as coaches, but we came back and we made our seconds. Um, for both of us, not our best meets, um, but we had a lot of fun. Um, for me in particular, I just enjoyed the whole situation. I was actually laughing. Um, can't remember. It was one of my second second attempt in snatch, or maybe the second attempt in clean jerk. I just walked on the platform and started laughing at the entire situation, just the whole being in an Indian casino and packing three platforms into this little space. And it was it was really cool and a lot of fun. And so I was just chuckling at the entire situation. So it was cool. Got the opportunity to help load um, for Stephen uh, Butcher, who you guys may or may not know, but um, Jake worked very, very closely with Stephen, coaching a lot of athletes in multiple states. Steven's a very good lifter, and he was in the 94A session. So that session was a lot of fun for me to be a part of because I got to learn from some of the best coaches in the world. So I just kind of kept my ears open, kept loading, um, and I got to see, in my opinion, that was by far the best, most fun session um, just as far as talent was concerned. There were some really big names in that session, so it was very, very cool to be a part of it. So, um Katie and I got to spend just a couple hours at Miami Beach, which was interesting. Um, it was it was awesome, obviously, but we had never been down there, so it was cool to check out. And we got to try Cuban food. I am not a fan, if you guys are wondering, of Cuban coffee. It's just, you know, not for me. It's too sweet. A lot of people rave about it. And it's been one of those things where there's a lot of hype around it and I tried it and it's just for me it's way way too sweet so I fi finally figured out how to order coffee from the Cubans and just tell them no sugar and then it tastes pretty good so um, let me know if you guys have questions about anything that happened over the meet it was it was a really great experience like I said I'm still running on fumes here a little bit so I'm still very very amped up just on adrenaline from the entire experience so if you guys are at the 5.30 class tonight, you'll probably feel some of that. If you are in the morning class tomorrow, hopefully I still got some energy going. So I will see everybody really, really soon. And I will post the video, the side view videos of all the lifts in the next couple of days. So for those of you guys that watch the live stream, thanks. And thanks for listening to the little meat recap. Have a good day.